What the hell were you thinking? Did you hear anything I said? Then? It's not really a rational decision. Yo, what's up? Hey, we're up. Let's go. We'll find out if you made the right choice. Good, good, good. <laughs> Here are the results from your game! <laughs> Excuse me? I just made the most rational choice. The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose betray. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. I could ask you the same question. Why did you do something as stupid as choose ally? Oh, really? All of us, huh? Kay and Clover chose betray too, you know. Yes. I know about the prisoner's dilemma, but everyone picking ally isn't a reasonable outcome. Just look at the results for this round. What do they tell you? You're a pretty tender-hearted guy to trust somebody you just met. Well, maybe tender-headed would be a little more appropriate in this case. Oh, was that upsetting? My apologies. I'm only trying to warn you. Alice is right. You made a stupid choice, and thanks to you, our BP is down to one now. <laughs> I'm so happy you chose Ally. No problem. Well, to tell you the truth, Mr. Dio wanted to pick Betray. What? Uh, hey! Mr. Dio told me to pick Betray so that we could get three points. He said we could escape together. If we betrayed you, then we'd have six... Oh, Dio, is this true? No, th that's not what happened at all. Kidding! I lied. That was a joke. Mr. Dio would never do something like that. It was a joke? Yeah. <laughs> I really surprised you, huh? So you really were planning to choose Ally all along? Thank you. Don't worry about it. We only did what anybody else would do. Right, Mr. Dio? Uh, yeah, exactly. I understand. I guess I just haven't had enough time to earn your trust, huh? Um, I suppose you could say that. I just didn't really expect you to be so nice about it. Zero, when does the next round start? If I had to guess, or maybe. Oh. Hmm. I guess any. I'm. I see. Phi Sigma, that means. So am I. Me too. Hmm. It looks like the color wasn't the only thing that changed. What do you mean? Well, it looks like our groups have changed too. I was a solo last round, but now it says pair. Wait, really? Mine still says solo. It looks like Luna and I both changed, although I've gone from solo to pair. I'm the opposite. Mine went from pair to solo. Uh, no change here. Still a pair. I'm... I guess this must be magenta. Are you two magenta too? Uh-huh. Yeah. Quark, Clover, and I are cyan. I think Mr. K and I are pairs. And Miss Clover is a solo? Looks like it. When did they change? Back when the AB gates closed. Oh. As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically.
Oh. Hey, Sigma. Can I get you a seat? What do you want? Can I get you a drink? I turned 21 just the other day. Why not? Really? It seems like this sort of thing... Sigma? It hasn't gone away yet? Are you alright? What? The headaches? Now that you mention it... Yeah, I did get one a bit ago. I feel fine now, though. Um... You know, I think I did have a bit of a headache earlier. Not me. No headaches here. Well, it's hard to explain. I just feel kind of weird. Your head feels weird? No, my body feels weird. Like my whole body. Hmm, I guess it's kind of like that, but... Oh, if that's what you're talking about, then yeah, I know what you mean. It's kind of like my body isn't really mine. I'm sort of... floating. Like that? Maybe it's because of the anesthetic gas. It might have looked like white smoke. It seems like we were unconscious for a long time. Well, it could be a side effect. Whatever. That's not important. Yeah, haven't really taken a good look at it. Oh, Sigma. What's up with your face? You look like you just saw a roach. Are you still angry? I didn't have a choice. I'm just trying to get out of here like we all are. That's not what I meant, and you know it. If I'd known for sure that you were going to choose Ally, then I would have chosen Ally, too. <laughs> Easy for you to say that now. What? Am I such a horrible person for wanting to get out of here? I have to get out of here. There's so many things I still want to do. Like what? Well, let's see. I want to wear lots of gorgeous clothes. I want to eat tons of delicious food. What an idiot. Excuse me? And I was going to take your side, but after that load of horse shit, you're on your own. Ugh. Look. Let me try this again. I'm frustrated. But there really is something important I have to do. Avenge my father's murder. That's what I have to do. No, I couldn't. This isn't the kind of thing I should be telling people I don't even know. I have no idea. As to why you're here, your guess is as good as mine. But it's possible that his death is connected to my abduction. I was on their trail. I was tracking down the people who killed him. How close were you? I can't say, but it's possible that I was getting close enough that they decided something had to be done with me. Well, I wouldn't really say I'm a detective. Not a bad guess. Why are you... I didn't say I was a detective. No. That's fine. In my line of work, the less I look like what I am, the better. Better I keep them guessing. Hey, what's the deal with you and Clover? What's she got to do with anything? Well, you know each other, right? I was thinking maybe you were related or worked together or something. No, she has nothing to do with my work. She's just a friend that I met somewhere. In the middle of a desert. Yes, but that's an awfully long story. Wait, hold on. Why am I the only person getting the third degree? That doesn't seem fair to me. How about you guys give up a little personal information too? We'll start with you, Tenmyoji. Who are you? Just a garbage collector. 
Any ties to Zero? None. What's your relationship with Quark? You two know each other, right? Do I have to answer that? Well, if you really don't want to, it's not like I can force you. Oh, but I apologize, but I don't have anything to say about that subject. I mean, it's not like you told us everything either. I see. Very well, then. Dio, it's your turn. What's your profession? Well, you're probably gonna think I'm full of shit, but I'm a circus ringleader. <laughs> you're kidding. Nope. Um, I lead a company of about 50 people. We travel all over the world. It was my grandfather's grandfather who founded it, but my father died at a young age. I'm a fifth generation ringleader. My old man was a trapeze artist. He tried to do this quadruple flip and missed. Well, I guess he wasn't really young. He was about 40. He was pretty reckless, always talking about how he couldn't let the kids show him up. I see. You lost your father too then. Yeah. Shit. Guess I got a little sappy there. Anyway, point is, I don't have any damn idea how I'm connected to Zero. I got grabbed on the last night of one of our tour stops. I'd gone out to a couple bars and gotten shit-faced. On my way back to the caravan, this black van pulls up. Before I can even get a look at him, they hit me with that gas and I'm out like a light. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the AB room. Anyway, enough about me. We still haven't heard your story, Sigma. Who are you? <laughs> Are you some kind of doctor? I guess you've been working on that for quite a while, huh? Can you think of anything that might connect you to any of this? What about Zero? Do any of the people here look familiar to you? Just who is he anyway? Oh, come on. You know he's full of shit. You still don't believe him? Of course not. I think she's a student. At night, she's a waitress or a bartender or something. <laughs> it's nothing. Just forget about it. Yeah, you're right. Boy, his age would be in elementary school. You really don't know much, do you? About Quark, I mean. If it makes you feel better, sure. Well, I know a little about Luna. I got her talking when we were in the infirmary. She says she's got some sort of medical license or something. She's a nurse? It could mean she's a doctor. I don't know, she didn't say. Just going by how she looks, though, I'd guess nurse. That leaves us with Fi. She's the most mysterious to me. What does a girl like that do? You've been around her the most, Sigma. She told you anything? Look, I just... It's just kind of like... And some part of... You sure? There's no point to talking about this. We should just focus on getting out of here. Uh, I agree. Where do you plan on going? I see. Right. Later, bro. Oh, Sigma. Perfect timing. You were in the crew quarters before, weren't you? Did you find anything suspicious? Like a secret door or something? Anything else out of the ordinary, perhaps? What's this? A meow? Catbook about. Oh, yes, I've heard about that. A cat is put in a box with a device that has a random chain. That means the cat is something like that. What? So it 
probably isn't going to give us any hints then. Mark, you're doing it too. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> What do you mean? Well, this whole facility is pretty suspicious, but I suppose that's not what you meant. Well, the puzzles in the lounge... Yes, apparently all the puzzle... I suppose... Well, I can't... Clover was... What about the infirmary? Did you find... Yeah, we did find just one... Dio and Luna didn't tell you? Okay, I got it right here. Just a second. It seems a little hard to believe. Yes, it... If it is true, is there a pandemic? You guys, hurry! You need to come with me! Has something happened? Yes! I mean, sort of. What did you find? It's horrible! Oh, never mind! Just shut up and follow me! You'll understand when you see it. It's right over here in the- Just follow- I think it's a... a bomb. So... Goodbye. We need to tell everybody! No, it's alright. Luna's out rounding them up. They should be here in just a few seconds. See? Where is it? Where's this bomb? There! You see? Doesn't look like it has a timed detonator. There must be a remote somewhere. You're right. It'll probably use an active button or a switch of some sort. Not a dead man switch. If we can get it, we should be safe as long as we don't press the button. Hmm. Me and and Luna. We found it while we were searching this room. Well, yeah. We looked all over, but we couldn't find anything there. So we gave up on the lounge and came here. I can confirm that. I wanted to look around the lounge some more, so I stayed back. You guys must have found it when you got here, then? Yes. How did you know it was a bomb? Well, I mean, I could tell just by looking at it. Why? Well, during my train... Clover! Anyway, this is definitely a bomb. I guarantee it. How do you know? I just do, okay? You sounded pretty sure about the switch, too. How do you know all this? Let's just say it's an occupational hazard. What kind of occupation do you have? I can't tell you that. Spare me the bullshit. This isn't time for keeping secrets. Please, just trust me. Look, I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm sure that's a bomb. And it's not just any kind of bomb. It's an antimatter bomb. Antimatter? Wait, you mean a bomb that uses annihilation energy? Oh, you know what that is? Anyway, yes, you're right. Uh... <laughs> I would have thought you'd know. Huh? Why? Well, your name is Quark. You do know what that means, right? Yeah, Grandpa told me about it. He said it's an elementary particle, but I don't really know anything else. I see. Can you explain it to him, Tenmyoji? Me? Well, you know him best. Uh, I don't know, it's hard to... You want me to... Yes, please. Okay, to begin with, we use, for example, it has a sort of opposite, which is so antimatter. The thing that's interesting about antimatter, when they cancel each other, that process, so. Um, 
sorry. I don't really get it. Oh. Oh, right. You've got men and women, right? They're kind of like complete opposites. What happens when you put them together? Um, well, if there were, uh, because their opposite elements cancel each other out. Like when a plus cancels out a minus, you get zero. That's annihilation. But when you get annihilation, you also get... I know! A baby! Exactly. In this case, the baby you get is the energy from the annihilation. It's not a real baby, of course, but like a baby, it's got all sorts of potential to do amazing things. That's kind of a strange explanation. You followed it, though, right? Yeah! Yeah, but that thing under the bed isn't going to be making a baby. Just how big of a... Just how big of an explosion are we gonna get here? It's pretty simple, actually. Just use I the mass loss during... So you would take the total, for example. That would mean there would... So you'd have seven... Yes. That means annihilation would produce roughly 63 trillion joules. That's about as much energy as the Hiroshima bomb. What the... But there's only 350 milligrams of stuff in there. Well, technically, it's 700 milligrams. That's not the point! We're talking about something that... Don't get so... I think I know what kind of bomb this is. It's probably using anti-hydrogen. There should only be about 25 micrograms of material in there. That's less than a thousandth of a gram. So you'd only get about 40... What does that mean? About as much explosive power as one ton of TNT. A ton? Yes. Well, approximately. And how exactly should I not worry about that? That's enough to blow up a 10-story building! True. But it's a lot less powerful than an atomic bomb. We don't know how big this place is. If we can get far enough away from the bomb, we might have a chance of survival. Perhaps. How do we know this is the only bomb? What do you mean? Look at it carefully. It's got a number three. If the bombs are numbered... Yes. There's no way to know if this is the final bomb, either. Anyway, we can't just sit here and do nothing. We should move it. No! Don't touch it! What the hell do you think you're doing? Have you got a death wish or something? This bomb is here because somebody planted it. Do you really think they didn't rig it to go off if some idiot tried to move it? Well, then what the fuck are we supposed to do? We'll just have to leave it be for now, until we can find the detonator or figure out how to turn it off. And you're telling us we should just prance off and ignore the incredibly deadly bomb? There's not much else we can do. Do you know how to turn it off? Well, there is a way. Then spill the beans, lady. How do we turn- There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that password, the device should, well... Yes, that's right. Look again. You see it? Right, if we can find the password input, then we can enter. Who would do something? I have no idea. We can figure out. When you and I searched this room, we didn't find anything, right? So that means the bomb must have been planted after we'd left. I don't know about that. After we finished the A-B game, we all split up. But if someone planted it right before then... Oh, yeah. You don't know, do you? Before we went off to the three rooms, we searched the hallway. Everybody was all split up. <laughs> yeah, anyone could have come by here then. It would have been easy to sneak away. You know, I don't remember seeing you around, Sigma. What were you doing? <laughs> I never said that. Really? Are you sure? Back when we were in the AB room, you said you saw the moment when the bomb exploded. There's no way that would get past Zero. And there's no way Zero would let anybody do something. Um... What? When you say Zero, you mean the AI, right? Of course. This is confusing. From now on, which would... Okay. 
Fine with me. Anyway, whichever one it is, they're not going to let a tenth person in. There's... I don't think it could be. Well, he said... on your bracelet we've only let's go that you're right this bomb Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes. The doors have opened. We need to figure out. We don't have time to just pay attention. I'm only going to say this. Why don't we let the people who are... The people who... No way. We'll be fair and take a vote. Exactly. So which one do you want, Alice? Option C. My, my. Looks like you're not so fond of me anymore. Do you agree with him, Luna? I'll just let Sigma decide. Fine. I'd like option C, too. Clover and I were a pair for the first round. What about you, Quark? That's fine. So that's three... How about the rest of you? I'd like to pair up with Sigma and Luna, too. I'm um, sure. I really don't mind. Then we've got three votes for option B. I'd like to go with option A. Hmm. How about you, Tenmyoji? I don't mind going with option A. One. <laughs> Which one do you want, Clover? I, um, Quark chose ally in the first. Then that's what we're doing. Ten, nine, eight, seven. The doors are closing. Let's go! <laughs> right. Two, one, zero. Chromatic door. It looks like they're all locked, though. Does that mean this is just a dead end? Try pulling. Hey, what's with all this hostility? Are you still mad about the last AB game? Please don't fight. We need to work together. Please? Hmm. Very well. I'll pull the lever then. Is that okay? Yeah, go right. See if I care. I doubt it. Look up. There's a ceiling up there. It probably... 
please stand? <laughs> this feels like a whole... I feel kind of weird saying this. This place feels so... liberating. It's huge, though. <laughs> We should split up. Agreed. <laughs> Oh! 
Hello.
Thank <laughs> you.